Hi. Today is March the 28th. God, I can't believe it's already March the 28th. Um, 2021. I guess I say that every time, but it just flies by. So I'm going to do the reading that um, I said I would do for viewer requests, which was on Eugene Martin. I was wanting to do a a true crime reading and it's timely. I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. Um, I've done some mini reads over the last night and this morning, but <laughs> there's just been various issues <clears throat> in trying to film outside with my, my camera. It's, it's hard to see even with the umbrella up and everything but I'll get it. I'll get it better figured out. Uh, anywho, so I'm going to focus on the person or persons responsible for the disappearances of Eugene Martin um, and Johnny, I think it's Gosh, 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 um, out of Des Moines. And there was another young man, and I, really not a young man. These these guys were like 13, typically. There was a type that these boys all fell into roughly the same age range. They even look similar in, in respects, hair color and, and um, kind of complexion. And size. They were, you know, smaller yet. They were not, they were just not quite hitting the growth spurt. You know, like maybe a little bit over five foot or five foot and, and still fairly kind of small. So there's definitely what I noticed with these cases a type. And when I was doing the reading, I saw that there was a third young man and uh, victim. And later, as I was just kind of reading about who um, Eugene was, what was going on, I came upon the name, and I've forgotten right now, but I will get it. Uh, his name was Mark. I just remember that. And I thought, that's the one, that's the third one. And they all seem to kind of fall within a couple of years. There's this kind of a pattern. So I want to try to look at it from a different perspective this way. And I'm going to ask spirit, my spiritual mentors, to reveal to me what we need to know about the perpetrator or perpetrators responsible for these three and possibly more, probably more, young fellows that sadly were abducted from Des Moines area. So I'm just going to focus and try to dial in through my guides. Asking Creator to help me read clearly and accurately. Okay, well, Secret Life, I'll say High Priestess. Okay, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to do a Celtic cross. Here we have the King of Pentacles, so I believe that this is one of the men, or definitely one of the perpetrators, adult male, fond of the physical pleasures in life, and fine things, money, creature comforts, food, 
you know, all that. But here's the judgment. So, okay, they're, they're taking me up on it. This is the individual responsible. It shows that this is based upon what he's done. With judgment. Now it's and secretive. Karmic stuff. Four of Wands. This is society. Greater society, I feel like. I know that looks like a prison, but... Could be how he viewed society. All right. Just let me lay down a few more cards here. Three of Swords, yeah. Caused a lot of heartbreak and separation by abducting and um, taking these young fellows out away from their family. I also do feel that this individual responsible did end up getting sick. and I do believe is deceased. The Empress. I feel like this individual had issues with his mother and issues with wealth and having very selfish um, in his wants and uh, like a baby. You know, don't get, but when he wanted something, it was like, uh, just gluttonous. And with the Empress, there's also talking about, he didn't take care of himself quite well. I think he overindulged. Very indulgent, gluttonous type of person that lived a very secretive life. and is undergoing judgment for it. Though they are, I think, unknown to us right now. It shows with that high priestess. It shows the amount of pain. Um, and with that Three of Swords also, the act in abducting, of taking people away, of causing separation and heartbreak, and I think also illness for the families that, you know, can't, and don't know what happened to, to their loved ones, their sons. He was a predator in society. And when I see that, that card of society, he sees it, I'm seeing it ugh, through his eyes a bit and it's predation. It's just like, it's like he's got a target. He would be out looking, looking for these, um, like they were commodities. I kept getting that. That, um, sorry, I almost get dry from being out in the sun, but commodity. And everything in, in life for this guy was like a commodity for him to have. See, that's when I get this really gluttonous feeling with this person. It's really unpleasant. Queen of Cups. <clears throat> this is his thought process. And I did get a sense that this individual had a thing for drugs. And I think drugging these... Um, victims. May have even been married. Dating even. Not married, maybe. 
but I feel like they had a like they had um, a facade kind of going on the outside to people that they wouldn't assume perhaps that this person was in, involved in such activities. Yeah, um, in the environment is the Ace of Cups. And to me this is like children, but this is um, and women I wonder if his wife, if they had a somebody that was pregnant. This is I'm getting a pregnant sense of pregnancy. It's strange, but there's like children in the environment. I feel like eh. he had issues with his own mother. I definitely am getting that. And with women. And the Ace of Cups, the emotion. in the environment if you know I don't like this hopes and fears he has this un feared being exposed wanted to be able to keep doing what he was doing keep active and the princess of cups I just this thing with children I think he would put himself around women that had children as well. Mothers with children and watch them. Yeah. In society, watching people. And watching for ones that maybe weren't watching their kids as closely but I always get children with this person. This person, you know, is a pedophile, so. Yeah, and they would take them, abduct children, taking them. But I feel like he saw them as more of a commodity for his own indulgence. And he's just like, in his perspective, he's just like plucking them from the environment. That's how he uses it. It's so uh, cold. It's very cerebral. There's no emotion other than that of the other persons. But they are completely um, with that Three of Swords. There's, I think this person also, came, this man had a very screwed up um, childhood. Issues again, yeah, with women, motherhood, children. And he cast a judgment, especially on, on people that he thought that were lazy, not watching their kids or something. I'm not quite a hundred on that. But he's definitely seeing these kids as, I don't know if it's like that's his justification, but they're like a commodity. They're just like a, like a grape, you know? It's, it's weird. A very weird, I, I, and, and, and he took them from the environment, going around. I feel like this person drove a lot. 
and I feel like he had an orbit that he went in, typically, but then he would change it up, and he changed up his game. That's why he wasn't there, I saw that, uh, for a couple of, of years. I think he would go off somewhere else, because I got a lot of traveling with him. I got the chariot, I got the six of swords, I got, um, you know, the, the the two of pentacles, a lot of cards indicating motion and travel, and then leaving an area, abandoning an area. Um, and I got a lot of cards, cards of abduction. Yes, and I always would get the magician for this person. This person was very um, able to, I believe, craft a, an impression of himself very shrewd and a, t a total predator calculating mm. yeah I got this card before too that's weird Th again just seeing that that these Again, I get the sense that he liked to make images, imagery, with the victims, and I feel like he did sell it or make it available for a price to others of like mind. I believe he had some contacts, maybe with one other male. I got that before, but there was a financial aspect too. So mm, I'm thinking with that, because I keep getting some of these same cards again, I feel like he created imagery and he made money off of it and he, this, uh, he had some help. I think he had like another person, another man that helped him to handle all of it. This is about balance, an unhealthy um, attraction to youth and to adolescent males. Five of Swords, this is the bully card, this is Enjoying making somebody else feel completely helpless. So there's some sedate, uh, sadism here. And with the hangman, you know, this is keeping, holding people as well. And that, that this was a way of his, the way he thought, the way he viewed it was that he was a predator and a bully. And these young teenage boys that he was uh, abducting and uh, doing what he did to them was all just this man's unique perspective which is one that is very cruel and very cold when you see that three of swords, he likes to inflict suffering. Mm, what, what a horrible person. The emperor. I, I get this too. So, older man. Um, traveled a lot. <clears throat> I think the that could mm. yeah he had other men there was a small ring and they would abduct yes I got this before there was a small m group of men a ring more than one individual that would abduct 
And look, there's even three. So with these three boys, I feel like this was a small group of pedophiles. There was a key person that may have uh, taken him, but I, I feel like there were others that he was connected to. That makes sense, giving the imagery, the sense of imagery that I think he's he made um, and shared with these individuals. I feel like this was a, they're telling me and it, this was a ring and these three boys are just three that you know about that <clears throat> there's this there wasn't just one man one predator doing it uh, he had other people that knew he was doing it that he was connected to that it, I think these were like these young abducted people were a commodity. There's definitely an aspect of that. An aspect of them being kidnapped. And then they would change up, I believe, a location and reset up there. Yeah, New, and go to another location where there were other children that weren't anticipating where the guard is down, you know, that are vulnerable. Oh, ten of Swords. They did take their lives. Um, But with that Four of Pentacles, I don't feel like that is, I feel like it's almost like they've got control over where those remains are. Very well hidden, is it, you know, just a feeling. Again, three. And these three boys. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. I feel that there's definitely, this is something uh, uh, from the three boys, I, I feel like they're free now for sure, and I feel like they're alright, and I feel like as far as like with their mothers, <clears throat> I, I feel like there. this is kind of a, a motherly feeling there, they're t together. They're together. These ones that they've been reconnected with their family. That's good. I'm not quite clear. But the moon and the hierophant. You know, this is like somebody that was able to remain off the radar of, of, of the law. They stayed well below it. They were very shrewd. Older men, too, with the emperor. Older. So, when I get the emperor, we're talking, it's the sign of the father, the, the husband, um... Some and the odd thing was with Eugene's situation, they described seeing him 
um, folding his papers. He was last seen folding his papers and talking to a man that witnesses thought was it looked like they were having like a father son kind of a uh, all right discussion. So this this man was connected, I think, to at least another man or two that that were in on doing this. And they benefited in some way, but primarily I, I see a guy that was probably running a, a ring and a racket with doing this and that I feel like I'm shown that he would travel around and that I think these these three boys definitely are uh, part of the disappearances from from him and the ring that I believe he had that he was um, you know the boss of overseeing I don't think I think he passed away I think I think he had cancer I got that from another um, reading I did outside which I don't know if it recorded properly on my phone but I can try and see if I get that up I don't want to overdo because <clears throat> this is already half an hour but that's what I feel I feel like the, the, the man responsible I feel like was part of a ring and unfortunately Eugene, Mark, and I think uh, Johnny were victims. I do. And these, they didn't just stay in <clears throat> uh, Des Moines. They went further out, and I mean further out. So I think they went out of state and would this, then they would come back to certain areas. So, you know, they would establish themselves, like I saw with the cards this this man <clears throat> and then I think he had contacts that would help him a couple of other men maybe so that is my reading on those cases out of Des Moines and um, thank you for watching this video if you enjoy my content please remember to subscribe make sure you're subscribed eh? they just check and make sure who knows um, and make sure you got the notification bell on. All right. Share. I'll see you later. See you in the next video. Okay, the one thing I want to look at is if this these cases will ever be solved. That is one thing I want to focus on. Because <clears throat> I think that <clears throat> it definitely needs a look at. So will the cases of Mr. Jean, Wade, um, Martin, and the other ooh, were stuck in there, young men, young boys out of Iowa and elsewhere will it be solved who will the will his case be solved will they figure out who did this will his case be solved Eugene Martin Des Moines Iowa the abductions there will Eugene's case be solved in the future, hopefully near. <clears throat> Get the Queen of Wands. The Four of Swords. This could be a woman that um, wants to bring peace. Uh, closure and closure such a but you know answers would be perhaps a better 
word. Wants to bring answers. And I, I, I feel like uh, this person, she could be a detective. She could be a, a sister. She could be somebody connected, you know, to investigating. But I definitely get a woman there. And this is the on the basis of temperance. It's details. It's just just the right combination of things. And so I think she's aware. I think she's that the right combination would just unlock maybe the answer. The sun, yeah. This wants this to be exposed. It could be. It could be solved is what it's saying. Nine of Pentacles. In the recent past with the Nine of Pentacles. Well, that has to do with definitely having people that can do this work that I'm feeling with that nine of pentacles it deals with well to do people that are well to do that have done well for themselves but what's the connection this independent oh independently maybe looking into this <clears throat> and has been, I think, researching this for some period of time. And is trying to figure out this these abductions, you know, what the answer is. So there is a woman that I think may bring the answer. And in the recent past, this person has a good, uh, I think also, reputation and ability, true ability to, um, you know, has the chops to do the work, Can um, is really cut out for this kind of work kind of thing. That's what I'm getting. Because the Nine of Pentacles is about like self-made and um, you're truly the real deal usually. and, and um, I'm feeling there's a woman. Go ahead. The Seven of Cups. Now, it's still confusing in the near future. She, 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 I feel like she feels like she's getting to maybe understand something more, but there's still some details that are not clear. There's still some confusion in the near future. I do think this woman is going to be able to solve this. The devil. Um, in the environment, oh, that's not the environment, but she's she's aware that this is evil. Um, she's aware that this was some evil that was done, that this is a works of a pedophile, somebody that is abducting people against their will, uh, and for uh, you know disgusting purposes and cruel. Here's the King of Pentacles. He comes back. She's gonna, I think she's on his tail. She's gonna... He's the one. She just needs to figure... Go. There's a few. I think there's a few men, but I think he's just not quite on her radar quite yet, or he's on her radar, or he's gonna get on her radar in the near future. I think it's a process of elimination. This is about the children again, this person and the thing with children. The Nine of Cups, and this is the, the, the group that uh, likes satiation, that likes to uh, share their stuff. 
don't know what else to say about that. I think she, she'll figure out this ring. But I still see it into the future. There's the ring, okay. And there is success that she, I believe, yeah, ace of swords. So I believe that this, there is a woman who may be instrumental in solving this case. It may come down to a, a, a woman. And maybe recollection or, you know, you just, I, I'm not quite sure. But with the Queen of Wands, I'm getting also just if we look at her as an energy, you know, it's active. It's being active and checking things out and getting people to talk. You know, if, when I think of the Queen of Wands, I think of somebody that's got a gift of the gab if they have the charisma, you know. So... I think it's just a matter of time for this woman to figure it out. The combinations of things, the various details and putting them in order and seeing the picture clearly. And she will, or it will be done, and there it will be solved. I got very strong cards of it being solved. That there will be success in solving it, getting an answer, getting clarity. And that it was part of a group of men that had fantasies that they wanted to satiate. Okay. 